Denise Tracy. Thank you for taking the time to watch the short video on how to lift the manhole using the lift lens provided as per the company's policy. When planning to lift the manhole cover, you need to utilise your screwdriver to dig out the T key holes and the perimeter of the lid. Just free it up and enable you to be able to get your T keys in, like so. Whilst digging out your T key holes, try and send the body as low to the ground as possible, rather than leaning forwards and stretching down where potentially you're going to injure your back or cause unnecessary stress to your back. By doing this, you're going to improve your chances of lifting it as a lone worker. The second part of lifting the manhole lid is to then utilise your crowbar or pry bar, whatever you've been supplied by your depot. By doing that, you need to make sure um, you insert it fully. Um, if you haven't got the ability to have the crowbar holes already placed out, normally you'll find there'll be a sort of a gap around the perimeter of the lid to the frame. So utilise that gap to obviously create that lift. By creating the lift, you're removing any sort of rustation to the frame, any sort of vacuum or suction that might be beneath it where vehicles have been driving over mud, dust and dirt. This again will improve your chances of lifting the lid without injuring your back in any way. After using a crowbar and you attempt to do a lift and you still find that you're having difficulties or it's still beyond your capabilities, then you want to try and look to use the sledgehammer just to give it your final method of lift before you attempt it again. Doing this, rather than swinging the sledgehammer where we've recently had an injury to an engineer's wrist, we advise you that it's probably best to use it like so. And then dropping it on each corner, to try and create a rock in the lid that again will loosen it potentially from the frame, allowing you this time to lift the lid successfully. Okay, so when you're ready to attempt the lid, ensure that all your tools and equipment are suitable and fit for purpose. And when you're happy that that is the case, Position yourself so that you're central to the manhole, legs apart so you get a natural dip in the knees, and then that will encourage you to use your legs to drive your feet to the ground, lifting the lid up without using or putting maximum stress on your back. So it'll all go into the legs rather than the back. So position yourself like so. Get it onto the surface like so. There's no strain in the back, it's in the arms and the legs now. Position yourself in such a way where now you've got a stance that you can drag back the manhole in a safe way. Once you've done that, secure your T-keys where they're not going to be kicked into the hole, nor is anyone going to trip over them, and adjust your barrier so your sight is now safe. The second option you may find when lifting the lid is that they are separate and you may have to lift one side out at a time. This is beneficial because you're lifting half the weight. To do this, exactly the same method of the single piece lid, Position yourself feet apart, dipped knees, back fairly straight, arms straight. You're then going to dip, drive your legs into the floor, position it on the surface, create your stance to drag, driving your legs to pull it back, and again, so it's a safe enough distance from the hole. A consideration would be before carrying out the lifting activity would be the ground or type that you're going to lift it onto. If you was lifting it onto a lawn, block paving, or brand new tarmac, you might consider lifting it up in stages rather than dragging acute damage to the property. If you are struggling, it's beyond your capabilities, then your next method would be to contact your technical specialist who would then arrange for a van pack or a colleague to come and assist you with a lift if you're a lone worker. If that's not the case and you are working in a pair already and you're struggling to lift the lid, then a tech spec would arrange for a hydraulic manhole lifter to be logistically sent to site to enable you then to carry out a lift with mechanical weights. If then still you're unable to lift the lid, you'd have to raise further works. Okay, so when planning to lift a lighter lid in a customer's boundary, the easiest way to do this method is to insert your pry bars into the gap between the lid and the frame, jiggle the pry bar across, insert the pry bars fully, and then lift inserting your foot to secure the lid. Placing the pry bars out of the way safely, grab the lid with hand protection on, stand it upright, reposition yourself, and lift and maneuver to a safe location.